13.2 polydentate ligands. Well, poly means many, and dentate is to do with teeth. So these are ligands with many teeth. Well, what does that mean? Looking at the first molecule, there's two lone pairs, one on each of the nitrogens there. And so those act to make dative covalent bonds to the central transition metal iron to make a complex. So it's kind of two bytes that ligand has at the central transition metal iron. For the one below, ethandioate. That one also has availability of two places where it can form this dative covalent bond. Now I'm just going to tidy up the structure from the IP data booklet. I'm going to show the resonance structure. Uh, maybe they'll ask about that, maybe they won't. I don't know. EDTA is the third polydentate ligand from the data booklet and it stands for ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. And this is a hexadentate ligand. So it has six pairs of teeth, if you will, or six lone pairs. Let me use the precedence to just simulate this complex being made. Now this chemical is used uh, to detoxify your body. If you've taken too much lead, for example, and you're dying of lead poisoning, they'll give you EDTA and that will clear it out of your system. This is the molecule. So where are the six lone pairs? I don't see any lone pairs. Ah, that's because it's not the Lewis structure. But there's one here. Ah, because that's acidic, you see, the H plus comes off, leaves an O minus. Third one there, and the fourth one there. That still leaves us with two missing. Where are the two other lone pairs? Well, actually, there's one on each nitrogen. So that's hexadentate. This molecule will wrap around a central transition metal ion, and then you can remove it from the body, I think by dialysis or just weeing it out. True story. A guy I used to work with, he would skip to school as a kid, and he would snap off the crystals underneath the lead guttering, and he'd suck them like candies on the way to school. In hindsight, it turns out that the crystals under the lead guttering are actually lead carbonate, a very potent neurotoxin. And so who knows what the guy could have been. He just ended up being a chemistry teacher. In hindsight, he should have gone to hospital and had some EDTA administered to him. But the problem is, if you have too much EDTA administered, it will strip out the calcium from your bones as well as the lead from your body. And that doesn't make you go all floppy and funny. No, it can actually, it can actually kill you.